We need to talk about what's been going on. It's something that has been really affecting me. It's consuming my mind and I can't stop thinking about it. I got myself involved in my first ever YouTube drama and honestly I don't really know what to do about it. It's becoming a big deal. It's starting to escalate. I want revenge but I don't know how to get it. Let me break it down for you. There's this YouTuber, fake gamer girl, and lately I've been making these sort of like challenges for her. I keep trying to make them harder and harder and I'm really really trying here but she keeps doing them over and over. I think I got something good and then she turns around and makes a freaking masterpiece out of it. And you know what? I'm sick of it. Every day I go to bed and I can't stop wondering how the heck she's been pulling off these challenges. So I made her this, okay? What the? This is the second shell challenge that I've made for Fake Gamer Girl. You can find all the links down below of all our drama, all the past beef down below. I made her this shell and I just gave it to her. I didn't even test it. I didn't even see if this was physically even possible. I literally made the worst thing I could possibly think of. Like all of these interior walls are absolutely terrible. Um, one could question if this is literally even a possible shell to do. If you don't know what a shell challenge is, basically I can't change any of these walls. They have to stay exactly where they are. That means that this, like this big thing wrapping around, yeah, I can't move that. I gotta work around that somehow and we have to turn this into some kind of build that looks good. That's the rules. That's the beef. That's the situation I'm in. <laughs> so I figured since I made this nightmare for her, I made well try it and see if I can make something out of it myself because if not then realistically she wins and we can't have that. <laughs> so let's get right to it. I have a feeling this is gonna take me a while so I'm just gonna jump right in and get started. I think I need to figure out this part here first. By the way jokes aside <laughs> this is friendly beef. I don't actually wish anything anything bad upon fake gamer girl. In fact I've actually had the privilege of getting to know her and she's really really nice which kind of makes this even worse. <laughs> my intentions with this entire build, what I plan on doing, like when I built this, I was like, this looks like a cat. These look like cat ears. And I, I figured it would be a really, really fun idea to maybe go and do like a cat cafe. But I also want it to function as a house as well. So if you did download it, it would be like half cat cafe, half like residential lot. So that's the plan. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to fill these up with some hedges just for some greenery. We're already adding landscape. Look at us go. In the back here, I don't really know what this is gonna be. Probably like another cubby, so I'm gonna roof it. And then we're gonna attempt to roof the entire thing. Let's look at this thing and figure out a strategy. So I can't just roof like the tiny little cat thing and like these guys here because like that'll look really weird, I think. What I wanna do is make this top part the like dining area. So I'm gonna go in with a floor piece, just like a flat square. I'm gonna start to make this easier up here so that it's kind of like a balcony. Not touching the walls, I just want to make this smooth so that it's just like one big open area. So like kind of like that, I guess. And then I'm gonna start roofing so that it's gonna be like over top of that area. So let's start over here in the back. I'm gonna start to roof this piece here. So we're gonna grab a gabled roof piece. I think I'm just gonna put it right on there. I'm gonna adjust. We've got some overhang, but we can go ahead and make like a patio in the back eventually. I'm gonna copy and paste this and turn it. And we're gonna connect that area right here. Okay, and then we're gonna start up here as well. So I'm actually gonna copy paces again. I'm gonna put it up top there and I'm gonna pull this in and pull it all the way across so it's covering the balcony. And I think I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna make it bigger. So I'm gonna copy and paste that right on top of there, pull this across, and then I'm gonna do the same thing one more time and turn it this way so that it's gonna be kind of covering this triangle part. And adjust. It's coming along slowly, I think. Let's go ahead and make this the medium wall height. I should have done that first, to be honest. And I'm gonna put the columns because it looks really, really weird right now having the roof just floating like that. So let's add the columns. I'm gonna use Snowy Escape today, I think. I'm gonna just stick those on there. I'll probably also add like a fence while we're at it. And this could work really well because that little like cat thing in there, this could either be a kitchen or like bathrooms. I don't know what yet. And we need to make sure whatever we do, we need to make sure that we have our cats being very comfortable. They are our number one guest. Oh my God, what if it's a cat hotel? And these can be like little rooms. Okay, that needs to stop glitching. There, okay. They can be like little bed cubbies. I love that. 
that. Okay, I've added flooring. I'm actually gonna add some flooring in the entire thing. So I'm gonna go walls down and I'm just gonna like fill this thing with flooring for now. Maybe we'll change it later on, but I feel like it makes it look like, I, I feel like when I do shell challenges, like making a square out of it just seems to help. I don't know why. Like if I just square it off like that, now it's way less intimidating. Like, right? And now I could add stairs right here, but maybe we can turn them so that they're facing the front. So that'll be like the actual restaurant up there, that part there. But in the back, I'm thinking about putting a door. I don't really know what door yet, but like in the back there, that could be the entrance to the actual house. Like whoever runs this establishment, maybe they also live there. Okay, my fencing and railings are all done. Now, like where do we go from here? <laughs> I think I'm gonna start to work on maybe my little cubbies and I really wanna open this part up here. I don't know how, like what if I went in with like a brown thing like this, we go ahead and open it up by making like a pergola. I don't know how much I wanna open it up, but then we could do something underneath like another napping spot. Oh, we could fit like these little things in there. This could be like a little, just a little hangout spot for the cats. This is gonna be so much fun to furnish. That's so cute. I'm actually gonna add another door. I'm gonna put one right at the front there. And then this, like I didn't really intend for that to be right at the front of my build, but I'm wondering if I could make it into either a chimney or like a sign for my like restaurant. I think we should get wallpaper either way. So let's go ahead and get some wallpaper. I'm gonna use spooky stuff. I'm thinking about this wood, okay? There are some like cool swatches in here. And like I said, you guys gotta bear with me. Just trust me. I think if I use this like red and then go in with some accents, I think it could look really cool. We're gonna add some trim, add some windows. I'm gonna add a ton of them like over here. Like I would open this entire thing up. Like so many napping spots. Let's actually get a cute little door. Let's use the little tiny one. Oh, it's so small. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe there's some bigger cats. I don't know. I want everyone to feel included. And then we added our columns. For like this over here, I don't know what to do about this. I might make like a little litter box area, like a cat bathroom. <laughs> so like, let's bring this over. I'm gonna add some columns because I think I'm gonna give them some privacy. I'm gonna get like a little plant and I'll raise it up and this can be their roof. <laughs> we definitely need like the self-cleaning ones. This is a high-end establishment, okay? Everything cleans itself. And then we got some of those. What if I went in with some eco lifestyle vertical lines here, but we like crisscross them. So I'm gonna start like going like this all the way along the back. And then I'm gonna go in with the like opposite one and put them together. And we're gonna kind of get like this like grid pattern. Then we go in with some of these. And I mean, it doesn't look like too intentional, but I think that looks kind of cool. Add like a hanging light or something. Look at that. Your cats are gonna be so happy. Oh, I'm gonna change the light. Actually, before I forget, I want it to be like cat hangout. <laughs> I felt like I needed some sort of detail upstairs. So I added some trim from Snowy Escape. Also some eco lifestyle fencing. I don't even know what the next part is gonna be. I think it's gonna be like landscaping. Oh, and before I forget, look at this really cute thing that I did in here. So in here, we've got some little toys and I added some hanging plants as well as some hanging lights to this like little area that I had before. And then in here for like this little section, I used some spandrels right in between there. So didn't delete any walls, just replace them. And this is where I wanna go in with my pet bed. So let's get like the big ones. This is a bougie hotel. Should I use like the actual cat ones? Like I think we have to from my first pet stuff. <laughs> I love. Okay, so we have that there. There's two little lab spots. We could do like a very private one in there. Like that's a very small little cat that can fit in there. And then we can do over here. This could be like another maybe more private one. This is like the the suite. Only the top of the class cats can stay in here. <laughs> but it's gonna be a smaller bed because I can't fit another one. The egg suite. And we'll put like some curtains over top and some like food clutter in the corner. Oh my God, I love it already. It's beautiful. We totally need the cat mailbox. I'm gonna put that right here. Also, I don't know why I added a ladder to this area. Like, I don't know where we're going here. <laughs> we're going somewhere. So this is where I'm at with my landscaping and look at these little guys in the back. I mean the big. I sized them up. They're really, really big. I've done all of the landscaping around the back. This is what it's looking like. This is where everyone's gonna sit. I've got my hostess stand. So let's find out which swatches look the best with this build. I really like the like blues and stuff. Like the dark blues are looking really cute and the yellows. And we'll get the matching chairs. I think I'll just keep it to like 
the blue for this. And I should probably fix the layout because it's like a little bit messy right now. That looks cute. I feel like I should add some little bowls for the cats. Actually, let's get rid of this table. And this can be the cat dining area. <laughs> I'm gonna get maybe like a carpet or something or like a thing that I can put all these on. I think there's a fish rug. Maybe I can use that. And we like size it up and we put all of the bowls like around. So this is like literally a dining table, but for cats. <laughs> there, look at that. Little cat dining area. Cool, okay, so our restaurant is like kind of coming along. And then in here, I was thinking about doing the kitchen since it's right there. A public bathroom would probably also be a good idea. Like a human one. <laughs> okay, what if we did human bathroom up here? And then downstairs, cause I've kind of already split this in half just in case. What if I did this as my actual home? Very tiny, like minimal, minimal stuff. And then we do like a kitchen in there. Oh God. I think we've just been like coasting along and we haven't even gotten to the hardest part here. Let's do a bathroom. So this is just gonna be a public bathroom. We'll do a door and then the toilet room can be here and I need curtains. I'm gonna use these ones for that side there and then I can put my toilet. I think I should probably like delete at least one window. It's like a glass freaking cube here that I'm putting this toilet in. And I wanna make this functional. Like I wanna make sure your Sims will be able to use this and everything so we can test it later if we have to. I mean, honestly, I could do like a full bathroom right here. Like a guest one at least, right? So there's our sink and a mirror and maybe I'll put like a trash can and some like get to work, like paper towel holders or like whatever they've got. Oh yeah, like their hand sanitizer and like this stuff and I'll put a garbage can. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so toilet done. I guess this can be like just like a powder room or something. Like I'll put a big mirror and like an ottoman. Just simple, not too, nothing too exciting. That's just like the bathroom. And I think that's gonna be the whole upper floor. Like that is gonna be the restaurant area. So now I need to tackle the rest of it, which is gonna be so freaking hard. I'm not ready. Okay, let's cut this in half. This is gonna be the kitchen. So let's do a, a good old classic restaurant style kitchen. I kind of want to use like checkered flooring. Is that gonna look good? I mean, I love a good checkered floor. I think that looks kind of cool. Especially since you can see in there, like the cats are gonna be drooling and looking at all the food here. They basically are just gonna watch everyone cook. What is my color? Like, where is this color scheme coming from? It's really like weird, but well, I, I'm down. I'm down for it. Let's do it. Okay, so you're gonna walk in. Okay, Um, let me tell you, this would be the worst kitchen to work in ever. Like my fellow restaurant workers know, like imagine yelling corner around these freaking curves and points. Oh no, 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 no. Like, well, yes, this will be functional. Are you even gonna want to use it? Probably not. Okay, we do have a sink. We've got a fridge. I've got prep space. Oh my God. We have a microwave. There is part of the kitchen. We're gonna turn around and go down the hallway. And I think I'll probably make like, this can be a server area. Let me get dine out. This can be where the servers go and like drop off their stuff. Like I could do like a, literally just a table with like cutlery. We can use those from Snowy Escape. And then I could put like some salt and peppers lined up. We can do a coffee tray. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to get the pet treats. Cause like we would be serving those. So like all of these, oh, these are all going down here. All of the pet trees. I should really put them up here. Like this is the main focus of our build. <laughs> that looks kind of good. And then in the corner, like I could just do a plant. There we go. And then on this side, I do need an oven still. Maybe that could be cold prep and we could do like an oven area with like hot prep. This is awful. I'm sorry. Anyone who works in a restaurant is cringing. And trust me, I know I've been there way too long. Let's do like fridge, oven, plant, <laughs> smoke detector, and a sink with like a big garbage next to it because that's literally what kitchens look like. It's normally like one of these to be fair, but I'm just gonna, we'll just put the barrel. And then everything else is getting wall decor because I'm too afraid to put anything else. I want to make sure everything works. Apparently mirrors make everything bigger. We're really testing that today. Okay, so I've got my kitchen area all complete here. Should be 100% functional. It's a little irritating to work around, I'm sure, but it's fine. Um, It'll be okay. All right, let's go and do the final part of this, which is gonna be our house. Like, look at this. I've added a little door in here. I can make a bathroom there. There is one upstairs, but I do need a shower. I think I'll be able to do this. I think it should be okay. I just realized the door is gonna lead into the owner's house and sometimes they may get visitors. Okay, let's go ahead and get some flooring. I think I wanna use eco lifestyle in like this shade here. And I think I wanna do like a blue on the interior, like a dark blue, like maybe something like that. And on the inside here, we can do another blue. And the reason why I wanna do that is because Snowy Escape has these curtains that I really wanna use because it has a cat on it. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna use these for all of our windows. I need to figure out a bed situation <laughs> and an actual kitchen kitchen and everything. Like I need everything for my Sim who's gonna live here and here. So let's maybe do a bed over here. I think it's gonna
gonna have to be a single bed unless I did like the Murphy bed. Like if I did a Murphy bed right here or even tucked back there, it would work. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I do lose a little bit of space, but like realistically, this thing is in the way anyway. So let's just squeeze that in there as far as it'll go, like right there. And I actually just sectioned off that wall piece there. So there's literally no evidence of like this tiny little like point. Now it's like a clean wall. I added more cat curtains back there. I guess I could put like an end table right here, like a small table with a TV on it. Then we have something to do and it should still reach and it'll still be functional. We'll all be good. A right, tiny little eco lifestyle TV. Honestly, anything with a cat is going in here. Like, do you think we actually own a cat or do you think we just like hang out with other people's cats? Like I'm going to do another nap area, but this could be my own personal nap area. It's kind of weird. And I'm going to add some like of these scratching posts like right here. That can be some decor. I, I mean, they don't look too bad. Oh, well, you know what? I want to put up like the jazz cat picture. Anything with cats on it. I need like this one. Why is this so expensive? There we go. <laughs> okay. So we have our bed. We have our living room. I want to make my kitchen soon. We'll finish off this area and then the kitchen can be over there and the bathroom. We got to do that too. I'm tempted to use tiny living because I know it'll look cute. Let's do that. Tiny living dresser, which is also going to act as like a table for us. Like we'll put a lamp on it or something. Oh, the cat lamp. Yes. Actually my first pet stuff. Let me see you. Are you going to thrive here? <gasps> the cat lamp. Oh, I almost forgot. We need multiple. One there, one there. We'll do like a clothing rack. Oh my God, and a rug. Wait, it actually looks kind of good. <laughs> this is so funny. We are taking the cat obsession to like the next level. All right, let's go and do our kitchen over here. And I'm probably gonna have to use a mini fridge. Like actually, I think I could do an entire kitchen right there. Like I'm gonna need the fridge. We're gonna need some counters. We definitely need some cat treats in here because I would assume they would just give all the cats some treats. So I'm gonna put these on top of my fridge with some other like cat decor. And there we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit a dining space in here, which I'm kind of okay with because there's like so much space. If you don't end up using this as a restaurant and like you just end up using it as a home, like you're going to have more than enough space to dine. So there is our kitchen and all we have to do left is the bathroom, which I think we should be good with. I'm going to delete this window. I can probably fit a shower right in there. Actually, wait. Okay. So we're going to do shower, toilet, sink, and we'll test it. We'll make sure everything's good. We'll just do like a quick little bathroom. Honestly, not really a putting the most effort into this because this is a hard challenge and I've struggled enough. All right, before we test this, I think this is it done. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I haven't put anything into this tower here, but it's really just acting as like a signpost slash chimney. I guess I'll extend it all the way to the end of the lot here. I feel like I'm like missing something. I didn't add anything in this little space, but again, I could just add like a pet door with like a secret toy container. Like they can go in there and get like really secret good toys, you know? Oh, like this one. Let's put that in there. Okay, so yeah, you can go in there and get this if you want. And honestly, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I think it's time for us to test it and then we can put it on the gallery. And uh, like, we need to brainstorm. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on how I can possibly make this harder on Fake Gamer Girl. Cause like, I don't know where to go from here. Like, this is freaking hard. What do we do? Do we add like a basement? Do we add more levels? Do I make it like a four story home? Like, I really don't know. So let me know if you have any ideas on how to make this even more awful. <laughs> okay. Let's just quickly test some stuff out. I'm not really that worried about it, to be honest, but I'm going to go in here, make sure that let's try the fridge. This bathroom I'm kind of concerned about too. All right. She's going in. Fridge works. Kitchen should be fine. Girl, don't make a mess. Oh, bathroom is all working. Okay. I think we're fine. I think this is a fully functioning, hundred percent. Okay. Build here. She's got all the essentials working in there. Kitchen should be okay too. Yeah. Let me know how you guys like this. I hope you guys are enjoying this YouTube beef, which I, I feel like goes without saying it's friendly beef. Do not send any actual hate to Sarah. She's really, really nice. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas on how to make this harder. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.